If my chick said I want to do OnlyFans, I'm like, all right, then cool, go do it. How much you made? Ten grand, all right, give me eight. All right, cool. Why would what woman is gonna give you eight grand? You're my woman, you're doing OnlyFans, you're selling my product. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, selling my product is crazy. You guys heard like Andrew Tate's out, right? I think it's only right, right? Only right that we re react to some Andrew Tate most controversial clips, man. Who's a fan of Andrew Tate and chat? Like, who's actually like a... Do you guys mess with Andrew Tate? Top G? Oh my God, this man, oh boy. No. Me? He's meh. You don't idolize him? Yeah, it's good. I wouldn't say you idolize any man ever. Don't do Who that. Who is Andrew? <laughs> Who is Andrew? And now he trolling, bro. There is no way you don't know. There is no way. Let me change that. You will only even acknowledge he exists if he's ignored how he feels 99% of the time before that. Because if he was sad most of the time before that, he never would have got to a place where he could attract a woman like you. The man who works in Starbucks, who's sad all the time, you won't reply to him. Ne neither will any other female. So for women to come along and pretend they give a f about the fact that most men are basic, most men are basically invisible. There is not a female on the planet who's invisible today. You can be a four overweight fat you'll still go to the club and get attention. 99% of the men go to the club and nobody even f***ing talks to them. If they try and talk to a girl, they get blanked and ignored and told the f Most men are absolutely not really invisible. This is the truth about masculinity, right? It's very easy for women to sit here and complain about the top 2% of men, because I've dealt with well, this guy, he's arrogant, blah, 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 blah. Most men don't even f***ing exist. They send 10,000 DMs and never even get read, let alone replied to. That's a fact, man. You guys can relate, right? I know you down bad, now. 10,000 10, DMs. <laughs> I'm playing, bro. I'm playing. So if you just sit here and say, I'll get a G, a big G, a boss, a millionaire, and let him have a day off, very nice of you. I'm sure you would. Yeah. But if you got, if a guy who wanted to have days off all the time, he never would have got important enough in the first place to attract a woman like you. And that is the reality. As a man, it's player versus player. It's ultimately competitive. And as a man, you have to outcompete the other men who are prepared to get up and do it anyway. That's how it there's no such thing as saying I'm sad. I need two weeks off. Not as a man if you want to be important. I mean, yo, I gonna lie. That was just Tate for a minute, just spinning f straight facts. I ain't gonna lie. I okay, listen. Before I like you guys think I'm a I'm a Tate meat writer. I'm not, bro. Like half the things he says is hit or miss, bro. But for that point that he just made right there, I would have to agree on. Like it it, it is for sure a fact that. It's hard for a man, bro. And females, I don't know why they, they don't like to acknowledge it, that it is, but it really is. As a man, bro, everything he said was facts, bro. Like, we are pretty much invisible if you don't level up yourself, man. Why do you think the whole self-help community is, exists, like the red pill and all that? It's so that men can, you know, level up to be the person they want to be, to attract the girls they want to attract. Because other than that, bro, we're invisible to the world. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a fuck about us. No one ever will unless we provide something. And it's just the way the world works, bro. You know what I'm saying? You could argue the fact, oh, women have it worse because the beauty standard is higher. But, bro, in reality, all you have to worry about is your looks. Like, think about it. Compared to a man where even if you're a good-looking man, most of the time it doesn't even matter. Like, <laughs> you could go to the gym, be an attractive man, but you still have to provide. You know what I'm saying? Find a way to make money, all that. You know what I'm saying? You're like, like all types of stuff, bro. Like, it's very competitive. Find a girlfriend. To find a girl, they're looking for the best. You got to be the best in all aspects of life, bro. As a girl, you pretty much just have to look good. Have any type of lifestyle you want. It's pretty It's pretty easy, man. Live, living life on easy mode, bro. Like, that's what... Also, here's a straight reason, bro. You seen the OnlyFans girls? Yo, that's a straight reason why pretty girls have it easy they live life on literally recruit difficulty, man. I'm telling you. And it's no shade, bro. It's literally no shade. It's like when we say that, when may, when men say that, it's not out of out of hatred or nothing. We're just saying how the world is and the facts, right? And, and, and yo, if I was a girl, I would do the same thing. Probably not starting OnlyFans. Like, well, I probably wouldn't start OnlyFans. But... <laughs> Um, I would use my looks to my advantage, bro. I'm just saying that, man. I mean, if 12 tigers attack me and I manage to defeat 11 in unarmed combat with my Aikido and the last tiger gets my neck, that's a, that's a fine way for Tate to die. 
How do you do <laughs> What? Bang out the machete, boom in her face, and then grip her up by the neck. Like, so yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, like with Tate, you get straight facts and he gets straight crap, bro. Like, <laughs> it's either one or the other, bro. There's no in between, man. Like, what the hell did he just say? Grab her and throw. All right, bro. It, um, don't do that, man, unless, like, she likes it like that. And even if she does, like, consent, <laughs> even that, like, you see, you can, you can get caught up in some allegations, my boy. I'm nah, just saying, it's risque, risque. Because I love doing it. What the? F I don't like what the f I love sucking. Why would yeah, I? You have no future no. with these men, so why not at least get paid for it, right? So I am getting paid for it on OnlyFans. I don't need to them to pay me. I make way more than they could ever give me. Guys. They get paid twice. I don't believe in depression. Don't message me about depression because I don't believe in it. If you're asleep in your bed in the middle of the night and you hear a noise and you believe in ghosts, now you're afraid. But if you don't believe in ghosts, ah, it's the wind and you go back to sleep. You give the ghosts power by believing in them. Your house is only haunted if you believe in ghosts. Belief is a powerful thing. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yo, um, yeah, he, he's somewhat right on there. Uh, your mind is a very powerful thing. If you believe in something to a certain extent, bro, I can't lie. A certain belief that it's like, oh, uh, I could, I could, I could kill a lion with my bare fist. Like, no, you can't. But listen, in life, if you believe a certain thing, law of attraction, it works, bro. I'm telling you, it does. So, like, hey, use that how you will, man. The mind is a wondrous thing, bro. We still don't understand it completely, you know? Stand in front of you. And I was to tell you that I could punch you as hard as I can. Yeah, this is where he starts talking crap, bro. And that's like, like he gets he gets these weird ass analogies. <laughs> it's like it just takes it what it, what it, his his point to like the extreme, and it's like ah, it's not even enjoyable anymore to people you know, are afraid of to normal people. What would you do if I wanted to start an OnlyFans? I don't think there's anything intrinsically wrong with women. Oh boy, as long as I had influence control over. What do you mean? Huh? Be the photographer and get the angles, yeah? No, 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 no. I'm not doing any real work, but just like taking all the money. Huh? If my chick said I want to do OnlyFans, I'm like, all right, then cool, go do it. How much you made? Ten grand? All right, give me eight. All right, cool. Why would what woman is gonna give you eight grand? You're my woman. You're doing OnlyFans. You're selling my product. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yo, yo, selling my product is crazy. Now this is a part of agitate his uh. His outlook on things that I don't agree with at all. It's it almost comes off as like he views girls as objects, which I ain't gonna lie. Some girls out there like to be viewed that way. I'm I'm dead ass, bro. Like it's a real thing. Like like a lot of girls want to be viewed as like their man's property. As much as the feminists will say, oh no no no, they like to be controlled, bro. They like to be like you know what I'm saying. From personal experience, anyway. But with that being said, bro, I don't think it's a good mentality for the guy, cause then you don't really respect your girl. And it's crazy if she's making bread off OnlyFans off her body, right, and doing things for her. If it's just her, she deserves the bread. You know what I'm saying? You don't deserve shit, my boy. What the hell? What right does it give you to take anything? You know? But hey. That's correct. Really Next question. question. No. She, I don't know if you're being serious. I'm totally serious. How would I let my chick do OnlyFans and keep all the money? That's disrespectful. What woman is ever going to give you that? Then she better not do OnlyFans. Duh. Imagine one day you're serious. Yeah, hey, just don't do OnlyFans then. <laughs> In Paris, they're having a fucking coffee, and terrorists roll through their caves. And the person next to you has their brains blown out. You're going to stand there and be like, waiting to die. Like, I'm gonna be like, bang, oh, I've seen that before. Okay, boom, boom, jump the dive and take one terrorist out. Next, get the AK, go Rambo, take out all of fucking Pakistan with a G. I don't think the world has ever been that the modern society we live in has been built by men. Let's cut the crap. All the roads you see, all the buildings you see, everything around you, men built. All of it. When women come along and say, oh, we're, we're just as important, you are just as important, but you do had a completely different role. You fulfilled a different role in society. And I think now, if you look at the roles of society, I believe men are still doing their job, but I don't know if women are doing their job. Men are still out here building the modern world. But when they come home now, the girl's like, oh, why should I cook for you? 
Would you be with me if I'd slept with over three? Okay. Um that's uh yeah, that's very controversial. But uh I somewhat agree. Man men and women since the dawn of time we've had our responsibilities in what we do. And it just happens to be that, you know, the man would generally like take over and like, you know what I'm saying, lead. While, you know, women would you know what I'm saying? Like they would take and look after the family, which is just as equally important. I don't know why they fail to realize it's just as equally important. You know what I'm saying? It's a very important role that they do beautifully. Um, but now, like, obviously, women want to be men now. So that's apparent. Would you be with me if I'd slept with over 50 men? God. What? What? F f f 50? 50? <laughs> I'm a high value woman, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing as a high value woman in, <laughs> when, when she's 50 dudes. How can you be high value if 50 men are talking to you? I've just been single for a long time. Oh, unacceptable. Why is that unacceptable? Uh -huh. Somewhere on this planet, there is someone who is your age, may look a bit like you, who was just given some bad news. Either they were just given a cancer diagnosis and given two weeks to live, or the police just knocked on the door and said, your family's Yeah, a, a cement truck ran them all over. They're splattered all over the road. My family? Yeah, all of them. I guarantee a bomb in Syria or a chemical attack in Yemen. And if you were to sit there and explain to them your problems, they would swap lives with you in a heartbeat. And this is what most don't understand. You're not grateful for what you have because you don't understand and don't anticipate that there's someone out there who would do anything to have what you have. I'm not even talking about me with my Lambo and my beautiful women and all my shit. I'm talking about just a normal, safe life where you can watch Tate Speech YouTube videos and no one's going to bomb your house. There are people who would do <laughs> anything to trade with you. If you were to sit there and try and explain to them all your problems, yeah, but you don't want to, I'm depressed and, it's, and, it's, and I have no girlfriend and it's hard to make money and, and my life's hard. And you were to tell them all your stupid reasons that you don't like your life. They'd sit there and listen to them all and go, okay, yeah, no problem, let's swap. And they'd sign on the dotted line. And you know what's crazy? I always think about that. Whenever, like, that, that is great. That is actually, honestly, that's great. That's a great uh, analogy. I always use that in my own head. If there's a bad situation I'm going through, and I advise you guys do the same ever, like honestly, if there's a bad situation. Just know it could be it could be worse. Like it could be really worse. You know what I'm saying? Um, and somebody in this world has it worse. For you, you should you should count you should have changed your mentality to count your blessings rather than count anything bad that's happened to you in your life. You know what I'm saying? It really flips your mentality around, and I I that's one of the things I appreciate that like Andrew touches on. That's one of the things. You know what I'm saying? Some other things maybe not so much. <laughs> Child is outside enjoying their life, playing with toys and smiling in the sunshine and having fun. I hate happiness. I hate happy children. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> like, like, what? How do you say all? <laughs> One clip is good. The next clip is just like, what is he? <laughs> like, I hate happy kids. Really? You're all losers. We've we've discussed this before. I'm the king of the world. No, no, no. You don't go to the club with your friends. I don't know what kind of bitch ass dude is letting his chicks go to the club with her friends without him. No. You stay in the house. You don't go nowhere. You know, no restaurants, no clubs, nothing. Cause life. Oh, that's a tricky. That's a tricky one because I was in that same predicament where my girl wanted to go out with her girls, and in the back of my head, I was like, "Yo, I don't know about that now." But then you have to realize, bro. Like, if your girl is really like your girl, and she really like is in love with you. Bro, she gonna have a nice time, bro. I thought to myself, bro, if I wanted to go out with my boys and she said no, what? Are you crazy? You know what I'm saying? So why does the reverse happen, bro? Why, 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 who am I to stop somebody else from going out? You know what I'm saying? You gotta have trust, bro. That's all it is. For a man, it's harder than life for a woman. 
Most hey, man, it doesn't mean she's going out clubbing every fucking weekend, though. Don't get it messed up. <laughs> men live depressing lives. For most men out here, they can't even feel wanted. Their wife left them. They're invisible to women. Their kids don't talk to them. They're just not wanted. Society has huge burdens on men. We're supposed to be smart. We're supposed to be rich. We're supposed to be interesting. Go have jokes. Go have chat lines. Right? Go be charming. Go be cool. Experiences, stories. We need to have a lot of shit to be an important man. To be a woman, you need makeup. 